Now let's graph quadratics in standard form. So standard form is y equals a x squared plus b x plus c. And actually, but let's not use y. Let's go ahead and use our f of x. Okay, so this is a, b, and c. So when we're graphing in standard form, we have to identify our coefficients. So our coefficients are a, b, and c. So what is a, what is b, and what is c? To find the vertex, we actually have to calculate it. And so we're going to use the formula negative b over 2a. That gives us our axis of symmetry. Then to find our y value, it, it finds our axis of symmetry and our x value of our vertex. To find our y value of our vertex, we take it and we plug it in into the function to find that y value. So you'll see in a minute. So to find the vertex using this vertex formula, um, so you first calculate the, or, the x coordinate using the negative b over 2a from your values here. Then you find the y coordinate. So in words, how you find it is you plug in, plug in the x value you found into the original equation to solve for y. Okay, so we have to calculate these things. Okay, so that's what this f of negative b over 2a means. So once you figure that out, you draw the axis of symmetry. It's the x value of your vertex. Then you can identify the y-intercept, and we're going to plot that point. So the y-intercept is just your c value from your original, from the original equation. Okay, so that's where you find it. Then we evaluate the function for another value of x, just like we did before, or you can use the pattern. Again, it depends on what your teacher wants you to do. So you use a pattern. We use 1, 3, 5, but whatever our a value is, we have to distribute, multiply that out, and that's where we know our next point is. So let's try this example. We have 3x squared minus 6x plus 1. So there's a lot of help on the sheet, uh, but we want to graph this. So let's identify a, b, and c first. So a is 3, b is negative 6, and c is positive 1. So the signs are very important. Now just to talk about a little bit more about the parabola, we should go through these steps as you're trying to graph. You know that the a value, this 3, is positive. So therefore, the parabola opens up. It goes this way. And we know that our vertex will be a, the lowest point, the minimum. Just an FYI. So we need to find the vertex. And we're going to do that by using the, this is actually the axis of symmetry formula, axis of symmetry, negative b over 2a. And so we I get our a, b, and c from here, right? So we plug it in. x equals negative, negative 6 over 2 times a positive 3. So I'm just pulling the b and the a from our coefficients here. So negative, negative becomes a positive 6, and 2 times 3 is a positive 6. So our x value of our vertex is 1. Again, that's our axis of symmetry as well down here. So our axis of symmetry is x equals 1. So I can go ahead and draw that axis of symmetry right away. We know that it's at positive 1, and I know my vertex is somewhere on that line. Now I know that my x value of my vertex is 1, so I need to find the y value, and I do that by plugging in that x value I found. So we're going to substitute to find y. So we're going to plug in f of 1, so that 1 value we found, and then we're plugging it into 3 times 1. So we're plugging it into the original back up here. So 3 times 1 squared minus 6 times 1 and then plus 1. So solve. So 3, and remember you do the exponent first, so therefore it's 1 squared. So it's 3 times 1, and then negative 6 times 1 is negative 6 plus 1. So 3 times 1 is 3 minus 6 plus 1. 3 minus 6 is negative 3 plus 1. So our y value is negative 2. So our vertex is at 1, negative 2. 1, negative 2. Next, we can identify our y-intercept. The y-intercept is always this value here, the c value. The reason why is because um, your y-intercept is whenever x equals 0. If you make x equals 0, all you're left with is the constant, which is here. So we can plot that point. 
at 1, and then we can reflect it across the axis of symmetry, and then so that is at 2 comma 1. Now we can either plug in values to find our next point, or we can go ahead and use the pattern. So let's use um, a pattern. So I'm going to use 1, 3, 5 instead of calculating. And my A value, what is my A value? It is a positive 3. So I'm going to take that 3 and multiply it inside. So it's 3, 9, and 15. So what that means is I go from my vertex. So start at the vertex and then use the pattern. It's always right one and then wherever you go. So from here, we go right one up three, which is our point that we calculate or we found from our um, identifying our intercept. Then we go right one from here and up nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here it is. And we can reflect it across the axis of symmetry. Okay. Now the nice thing about using the pattern is that, say for instance you do this and it doesn't hit your y-intercept, um, the y-intercept is guaranteed. So if it doesn't hit your y-intercept and you know you counted correctly, then you may have to go back and recalculate your vertex, see if you can find the error of what happened in there. Okay. So this is how you do that. Um, if you tr have to plug in points, so if here's your vertex, you already found this value here, I could plug in either negative 1, because I don't have that point, or I could plug in um, 1 to f of 3. Okay? And if you did that, you would for sure get these points here. Now I want you to try one example on your own, negative 2x squared minus 8x plus 1. Um, so pause the video and try it out. All right, if you tried this out, it does fit. So if you got a really weird high number for your vertex, go back and check the signs and your order of operations. So when you calculate the vertex, that is negative 2. Um, and actually, sorry, you're calculating your axis of symmetry is at negative 2. And so I graph that right away. Then you take that negative 2, you substitute to find your y value. So when you substitute that back into the original equation, it's negative 2 times negative 2 squared minus 8 times negative 2 plus 1. Remember, again, that you do the exponent first. Students always try to multiply first. So it's 2 times 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. And then, so that becomes a negative 8 plus 16 plus 1. And your vertex, the y value of your vertex, ends up being 9. I use the pattern of 1, 3, 5. And I had to multiply my a value, the negative 2 in front. So um, that gives me a negative 2, negative 6, negative 10. So I use this to tell me where I go next from my vertex. So this negative 2 means I go right 1, down 2, right 1, down 6. And I could go right 1, down 10 to get my next point if I needed to. Then I reflect those points across the axis of symmetry. Oh, that one should be another one away. Um, and so that would be your graph. Okay, so I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.